before I started teaching at Northeastern, I spent like 15 years working with statistical models. I worked in the financial industry, I worked in technology, and one of the challenges we have found is how do we bring these ideas into pragmatic mm -hmm. stuff? And I'm talking about implementation. And it's not very easy to implement things when you think about taking these ideas and implementing them into practice, especially in the context of AI. So let me give you two examples. First of all, if you had a choice, there's a flight you need to catch, and there's a fully autonomous vehicle which is ready to take you there, or a human being, who would you trust? Second, you have to take care of an aging parent, and there is this amazing bot which has been tested to be much, much better than humans. Would you trust this bot, or would you trust a human? Many a times, we come to a conclusion that just because we are seeing the numbers, that we are there, and we will be able to build these systems. But in reality, we are not there yet. Many a times, the complex systems which we see today are so complex that in order to make sure that it's reliably tested and we can have them deployed in large scale, that's not happening yet. And why is that so? I did a survey a couple of weeks back with my students, asking them what intelligence meant. And they all came up with terms. And I started debating, like, can we all agree on one term or one statement of what intelligence is? And we couldn't. And that's the reality of matter. And what we talk about today, we talk about AGI. And we talk about mimicking human behavior, mimicking animal behavior. And we say that it should be able to do any intellectual task. Now, how do we implement that? It's not possible to even test one attribute of intelligence concretely so that everyone can agree. And we are now talking about making sure that we are building a system which is mim mimicking human behavior. And in the testing realm, I don't think some of these tests which we typically see on Wikipedia would be sufficient to declare victory on AGI. And the challenge is, we all have different perceptions of what intelligence means. And we basically come up with our own biases, our own backgrounds, and we talk about it as though we know that we are going to get there. And in fact, we are actually putting together multiple pillars, and we are trying to get to those pillars as soon as possible. I think the way we are building the scaffolding for AGI is completely wrong. I think the first focus should be on getting together and making sure that we get specialized AI done right. Anything we talk about need not always be intelligent. It could just be a task that needs to be accomplished. Many times as engineers, when we develop systems, there was no intelligence involved. It was automation. It was better than humans, but I wouldn't consider them as intelligent. The question is, how do we build systems with the right scaffolding so that there is intelligence involved but also other aspects which, we can, which machines can do much better than humans. And the framework I propose is a very simple one. First of all, we need to define these tasks atomically, the specialized intelligent tasks. And then we have to talk about how do we define this intelligence. Because as I showed before, there are so many attributes of intelligence. We don't need a system to do everything. And for each one of these attributes, we haven't even defined what the metrics are and how do we measure and how they all interact with each other. And that leads to the degrees of intelligence. So we talk about intelligence as though it's one common standard. Talk about the intelligence of a mosquito, an intelligence of a monkey, an intelligence of a human. They're all different. So why do we expect machines to have one common standard of intelligence? We have to think about the degrees of intelligence and how it evolves. A baby will evolve into an adult, and then the cognitive capabilities would decline as time passes on, which means that our intelligence evolves. And what, does, what happens to the system's intelligence? Do we need to think about system's intelligence as something which is unique, or is it something which is comparable to, to that of humans? Which means that we need to define machine intelligence right. And then comes the question of how do we test it? Most of the efforts today 
has been spent on solving intelligent problems in a very atomic scale, and then trying to beat the benchmarks to get to the next step. We haven't really spent the time to test these adequately. And that's a big challenge. Many a times in the industry, risk management departments have minuscule budgets. They are not making money. Testing departments in software companies are meant to be the gatekeepers before the software is sent out the door. Even you have read press releases wherein the CEOs sometimes say, oh, we're going to basically build a system and have a couple of hours of testing per employee done, and then that should be the end of it, and we'll deploy these systems. That's not the right way to get intelligence right. In fact, we have to think about context and domain specificity. We talked about so many problems in healthcare, in finance, et cetera, et cetera. We have to think about building systems specific to these environments and think about <coughs> context-aware sandboxes wherein we can actually build in the right environments, think about how they're going to interact with humans, and then test them adequately. Finally, we all know innovation runs much faster than regulation. And we're talking about intelligence in here. The trait which helped us survive as a species, the trait which helped us evolve as a species, and we are thinking about bestowing this to the machines and then delegating all these activities to machines. It's an important thing. We have to agree on certification and standards at an atomic level so that for each domain, we have specific things we can aim for. I want to conclude with a poem by a Boston poet, Ralph Waldo Emerson. It's called The Fable. And he talks about the war between a mountain and a squirrel. And then he ends with a saying, talents differ. All is well and wisely put. If I cannot carry mountains on my back, neither can you crack a nut. I think the answer for intelligence is there, which means that we have to be really good at lifting mountains. We have to be really good at cracking nuts. But we don't need one system to do everything for us. We need to get specialized AI right before talking about AGI. Thank you. Thank you.